Guys, this is the Shades Podcast. The Shades Podcast, we talk about the sexual degeneracy and what the world thinks sexual morality is. And we expose that in order for us to walk in greater faith in Jesus, in order for us to see into the light. And of mm. course, whenever a person sees into the light, their life becomes more filled. Mm. So in this episode, we want to go ahead and give information to the Christian man and to the secular man on what a low value woman is on the red <laughs> flags about what a low value woman is so that Christian or secular man can say, no, I'm not going to go to be with you because of what the shades podcast told me, <laughs> of course, not solely because of us, but he's here are five points that we will get to in order for you to better walk into this sexual degenerate world wow. and uh, go about dating and uh, having a relationship. Wow. And so, Real quick, as we did describe the question is, what is a low value woman? Yep. Wow. Well, a low value woman is one who does not add any value to your life or who even makes your life worse. A liability, not an asset to your life. Now, low value doesn't mean that they are not valuable. Again, this is not a woman bashing right, podcast, right. so we don't get on here and just bash women. You women, this and that. No, if you're looking for that, turn this off. This is not the type of podcast. We want to warn you, though, of the types of women that you should avoid in your life right. if you are trying to find find the right woman to be with and so that like i said a low value woman doesn't mean that they aren't valuable it just means that they won't add much value to your life so even really quickly the bible for those of you that want to talk about oh well y'all are supposed to be christian men how are y'all talking about a low value woman? even the bible talks about this in proverbs 5 and it says this proverbs 5 and 3 it says for the lips of an immoral woman are as sweet as honey and her mouth is smoother than oil Verse four, but in the end, she is as bitter as poison, as dangerous as a double edged sword. And then verse seven says this. So now, my sons, listen to me. Never stray from what I am about to say. Verse eight, stay away from her. Don't go near the door of her house. If you do, you will lose your honor and you will lose the to merciless people all you have achieved. So even the Bible speaks of this. So for those of you that want to um, say, y'all are Christians, y'all are, are judging. No, we're trying the, to give you a warning also, so that you don't yeah, fall into destruction. Absolutely. Also, dude, the Bible uses the word whore yes. lots of times. Yeah. Come on. So, so <laughs> Jesus, so if the Bible's going to say it, I'm definitely going to go ahead and say right, it Right, exactly. So everything that y'all want to get mad about in the comment right. section, is we really don't care because as long as we got God's word backing us up on it, then mm -hmm. that's all that matters. So let's give you five signs that of a low value woman. Let's hop into it. Number one is her worth is in her body wow. and her appearance. Wow. wow. I mean, that could be on for like 30 minutes. Right. Right. Um, I see it a lot. Uh, you see it a lot, especially if you live in the city, especially if you live in Dallas, Texas, right. like the way we do, uh, unfortunately. Uh, but I've seen it where women, they will care so much about their body and about their looks. And it's pretty sad. Usually these women, they were not loved by their mm -hmm. dad or they did not have it out or they've been broken uh, within a relationship, meaning they've been cheated on. Wow. Uh, they've been called ugly. And so they let that completely destroy them, which is understandable. There is sympathy to that. We do sympathize with those women who have been broken after a horrible relationship, but they go on and validate their self-worth or they go on and receive validation from other men on how the way they perceive them. Mm. And that's not a healthy thing at all. So if you see a woman and you feel as though that she puts a lot of effort into her looks and into how the way she dresses, perhaps she may be putting her value in her looks. Wow. And so some of the women, and again, not all women, we, are, we don't generalize, but some women, a low value woman is going to put her worth. Her worth is going to be in how she looks. She is so too concerned about cosmetics instead of her character. And so usually you will see women that they look very beautiful on the outside, but they're mean spirited. They're very, um, and we'll get into this even more in depth, but they can be very mean and aggressive. And what that is another sign. <laughs> but they, if, they, if they're more concerned about how they look on the outside instead of on the inside, uh, yeah, they, they may be low value. They need to check more on their, their, their cosmetics is more important than their character. Right. Then, yeah. A question to you, though. Uh -huh. How can a Christian man and a secular man 
know that the woman who he is out on a date with can perceive, okay, this woman puts her value in her looks more than who she is internally. Mm. How can a man perceive that? Mm. Makeup. <laughs> <laughs> oh my I'm goodness. I'm playing, I'm playing, guys. I play it. I play it. Man, okay. Deal, On to the next point then. I'm turning it off. I'm turning <laughs> so, it off. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, yeah. It's a legitimate right. question. Uh-huh. Let me go ahead and get my answer yeah, and ahead. then we're yeah. going to come back to you. you One ahead. would be this. If she just has an ugly personality, uh-huh. but if she's really, really hot on the outside, and right. I met several women like that, I'm like, ah. Yeah, this yeah. isn't good. And if she's constantly posting herself on social media, right. and this is the truth, if she's constantly posting herself on social media in order to receive validation from men through the medians of likes, mm-hmm. of comments, of screenshots, whatever, of woman and man calling her pretty, if she's constantly doing that, but whenever you actually talk to her, uh, if she has no emotional depth, if she has no intellectual depth about her, mm-hmm. then yeah, perhaps right. she has put her value yeah. in her looks. And then too, if you if she's immodest, she doesn't believe in modesty. Right. Um, her her she always has a breast ass. She's always dressing very provocative. Even at work, she's always showing very tight, revealing outfits. You can tell that that woman, and like I said, even with like she she dolls herself her dolls herself up. Her hair is done. They got the lashes done. Lashes is thick and nice, but all of that, and 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 her. But like Ariel was saying, the and the personality is not there. Uh, she may care more about how she looks and not care about how she treats people. Number two is the second sign of a low value woman is has casual sex. I would say that's the most important one. Wow. I would say that's the yeah. most important one. Um, and this is no particular yeah. order, but right. we're just... It has casual sex, very promiscuous woman. Um, It's pretty easy to know if a woman has casual sex. One, men, you do not have to go ahead and ask her blatantly, hey, what's your body count? Unless you're on a podcast and you want to get views, which is cool. But <laughs> there is an easy way to go ahead and do this. Now, I feel as though that whenever we go ahead and give this man this sauce, um, that men are going to go ahead and start using it. And then women, they're going to go ahead and start to get upset saying, oh, I know what you're really asking. So <laughs> it's kind of like your pros and cons. Right. Uh, if this does go pretty viral. Amen. Subscribe to our Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> so if this does go pretty viral on the question you should ask women if you want to know if she has a high body count um then so be it but i feel as though women are not going to go ahead and answer because it is a good question simply ask her this what are your views about premarital sex Mm. ask her that what are your views about premarital sex do you think it's wrong to have premarital sex and if she says "Uh, i don't really find anything wrong about it yeah, to each us on, you know, like, um, I guess y'all See ya. can do that, but I'm not waiting. See ya. Uh-huh. Get out of my face. Yeah. I'll still pay for the date, but <laughs> get out of my face. I'm sorry. Yeah. Because a real valuable woman, a, a godly woman will say, oh, I'm not, I, I don't engage in premarital sex because I know that I give myself up. I give my connection. I give my soul and my spirit to the right. man who I engage sex with. And yeah. I want to have a real intimate connection whenever I have sex within marriage. Mm. And when we talk about casual sex, they engage in hookup culture. They believe in one night stands, just sleeping around with it. Even if they don't know you, they'll let you smash on the first date and, and, and all those things. Mm-hmm. Don't don't fall for that. And even too, like Ariel said, ask if they, what their thoughts are on, on sex. And if she doesn't have any um, ethics concerning right. sex yep. then you leave that even to and then to even if uh let's say values <laughs> sex over marriage um mm. i don't even believe in all that marriage wow. stuff i don't believe wow. in yeah you may want to want to leave um, especially if that's not, and, and I'm not saying that all women want marriage, but if the, to her, if she's just down on the whole institution of marriage, right? Then, right. yeah, she's, I don't even see marriage just a piece of paper anyway. Right. We might as well just do us, let's live together. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. go but ahead. When, and, guys, you don't even, well, I was gonna say, you don't even have to find out if she's a low value woman, go with end date. I mean, it's kind of hard to kind of uh, see what she's about at work mm-hmm. or at Walmart, wherever you right. see her. So it is good, right, to go ahead and uh, see all of this within dates, right? That's why it's important. You can't just simply casually talk. No, dating is like, hey, what are you about? So I can know whether or not you're committed or whether or not you are a low-value right. woman. What's the um, The third, third one, one is 
the way she treats men wow now if this woman uses men and she doesn't respect men uh, she may be a low value woman now what this is saying is that a lot of women that are low value they um just use men for means to an end meaning that they just see that man as a dollar sign um go ahead and send me something on cash out go ahead and, and send zell how much is it that you're making if that's the first thing that she's wondering buddy wow. run <laughs> so a sex worker yeah so if so she's all worker. about um about um about money how much you're making yeah um i'll let you get the box if you take me right. to a trip um right. to miami and she's high maintenance um, are you going to go ahead and get my nails done? Right. Um, how much are you spending? If, 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 if she's real needy like that, she doesn't want to work. Nope. She's lazy. Uh, <laughs> she has only fans. <laughs> if she, if she needs attention from other men, that's a given. very flirty right. Right. And, 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 and all of that and seductive with other right. men and she needs other men's attention. Just see how she interacts with men. See her thoughts on men. If she generalizes men, think all men are trash, thinks right. men are no good and uh, yeah notice what bishop said he mm-hmm. said if the only thing she cares about is your resources right we're not saying that a man's resources is not important in right. a relationship absolutely it is duh it's a given right man should enhance himself as much as they can but if that's the only thing she right. is after such as your money and hey when are we going to go on vacation even though we've only talked for about like a week yeah red flag <laughs> Yeah. You want to go to number four? Yeah. Number four, she's aggressive and combative. Uh, what? 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 Oh, my gosh. What? I wish I would. I'll fight a man. Uh, I'll fight a man. <laughs> so gross. You need to so calm gross. down. Calm down, sis. I'm not trying to fight you. I don't want no smoke or, with you. It, yeah. Or like yeah. she doesn't have a peaceful spirit. Unfortunately, yeah. it's these city girls. Um, And I'm pretty sure it's gone on. Uh-huh. And I'm pretty sure it's very rampant even across all sectors of life, meaning the country as well. But if she does not have a peaceful feminine spirit, meaning Mm. she wants to understand you, she wants to hear you out, she wants to calm you whenever you are providing for her or trying to take her out, if she doesn't have that peaceful feminine spirit, and I'm not saying that men are brash and loud. No, no, Mm -hmm. no, right? We should be stoic. We should be uh, like men who are calm, okay? That being said, if she's very combative and just very aggressive with mm-hmm. you and trying to pick at you and trying to nudge yeah. at you, then it's not good. And then right. do not fall for this lie whenever they said, oh, I need a man who can handle me. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Are you an animal? What are you talking about? <laughs> That's probably one of the... I, yeah. I cannot stand that phrase. Right. Oh, I need a man who can... Oh, it's because you can't handle me. Okay, uh, yeah, because I'm not your freaking trainer. Right. <laughs> What are you talking about? Or because about? I won't put up with your toxic behavior. Right. Absolutely. And so now when women like that act like that, they want to call men sassy <laughs> that don't want to put up with their <laughs> with their bull crap. Sassy. Yeah, you just sassy. You got you sassy. Why are you giving me sass? Um, I'm sassing you because I stood up to you and right. I didn't want to be right. disrespected. Right. Right. But if she's aggressive, if she if always needs to be right, always starting an argument, very argumentative. Mm. What do you want for dinner? I said, what you want to eat? <laughs> everything is a fight baby i'm just wherever you want to go what you mean wherever i want to go it's like yo yeah and i want to say this quickly um (sighs) and i'm pretty sure you you can say the same thing for the black culture and i want to say the same thing for uh my (laughs) hispanic culture la toxica that's not a good thing i hope you men know that and i know what you know what i'm referring (laughs) to right in my culture right it's it's a cute oh Uh hey bro she's la toxica I would say this to my homies. Hey, man, you know, is she yeah. Christian? Nah. I mean, she, you know, goes to Catholic church. Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> I'm not saying Catholic church is wrong. No, no, no. Uh, God bless the Catholic. Shout out to them. One of the most base Christians I've met. Uh, but by that being said, uh-huh. um, if she is la toxica, <laughs> just know that you're probably not dealing with a feminine woman. And it's right. not cute for a girl to be toxic. What is that? Right. What is that? Yeah, that's just a little if, quick note to uh, my Hispanic right. And if like Ariel said, if there's no feminine energy, just masculine, always mean, always hard and tough, just mean all the time. And she talks about, oh, that's just how I am. I just got no. RBF. <laughs> You'll figure it out later. <laughs> we don't cuss on here. We don't cuss on. Oh, but she said that she got a you know resting oh, dog okay, okay, female okay. dog face okay. you know this is just me this is just how i look 
Look, yeah. I'm smiling right now. No. Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, you. she's going to give you problems later on. And then the last thing, number five, yeah. is the most, I think, the, it most, is important the most important one. one. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. This is probably the most important one. We say the best for last. If she has no sense of religiosity, if this woman has no relationship with Jesus, oh, man. You need to you yeah. need to get out of there. If, yeah. if any person do. doesn't have a relationship with the true source of love, they are not going to be able to love you. I've had to learn mm. that the hard way Mm-mm. is that I was expecting love from a lot of women that did not have a relationship with Jesus, and so I was giving love and expecting love in return and was not receiving it and i'm like god why am i not receiving god is saying because you are connecting with people that are not connected with me so they don't know what love is love in their sense in their mind is all about what they can get from a person Mm -hmm. as where when we as christians we love love is about giving and so because bible says that god so loved the world that he gave Mm -hmm. his only begotten son so we are about giving we are always we have pure motives but with people in the world their intentions are always different yeah they're looking for what they can get from you but Mm -hmm. if if that person does not have a relationship with jesus there's nothing that that person can really truly offer you especially if you are a christian yourself you guys are going to be unequally Mm -hmm. yoked right and which explains why there's a lot of fail your relationships especially amongst christian men because they go after right. these nasty secular women uh this is another sauce or tip that we can go ahead and provide to you instead of asking them if you're on the day hey do you you believe in god and 90 percent of the time they're gonna say yes i do right. no, no no instead ask them hey how's your relationship with jesus like mm. and, and depending get on how specific the, right, too and, yeah and we'll depending on how the way they answer that uh-huh. you can kind of discern say okay yeah if they All say right. you know i'm struggling with this i'm trying to become a better person and if they include things i'm I pray, I go to church on a daily, I like to worship God. If they start to talk about it and start to get passionate about it, mm. you may have found yourself a diamond. Right. But if you say, hey, how's your relationship with Jesus? They're like, oh, um, I... I, let's pr- say they're kind I of pray stuck. before I go to sleep. Yeah, yeah. you can be like, okay, <laughs> like, I understand. I yeah, understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then too, and just like Ariel said, what is your relationship like with Jesus? Right. Because a lot of people, they will use God, mm-hmm. but what God are you referring to? You know, we, we, we're talking about Jesus, the God mm. of the Bible. Mm. Some people just say, oh, a higher being or the universe. Man, get out of here. If she's talking about the universe and all this and she's trying to show you her um, her zodiac sign uh. and tell you about her horoscope for the day. <laughs> <laughs> You just go like this to her on the date. I, I don't date Leo men. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I, my last one I was with, he was a Scorpio. Okay. Go yeah, ahead. See you go later. Ahead. See yeah. you later. See you later. You Bye-bye. See you guys, so all of this stuff, all of these five points that we have given you, please use that. Keep it within your hearts. Use that while you're on a date. Or and, and you would even have to find it out on that. You can see to her through conversation at your workplace, at Walmart, at church. Yes, even at right. church. And hopefully this information will help you uh, acquire your soulmate, a godly woman. And of course, the same for the uh, woman as well. If right. these men do not have these attributes. Right. And eventually we'll do a video about low value men. Right. Because for some of you women, why y'all just got to talk course, about the women? Why course. y'all got to talk about just the women? We got one on, high, on low value men that's about to come out too. It's, it's an equal playing field. All right. So if you enjoyed this, and even if you want to add a point, to it go ahead and put it in the comments and if you have one of the five that you thought was your favorite or something or hey just go ahead and share with us in the comments let's have a discussion and if about you this. disagree i'm not sure yeah. how, how on earth you can i mean of course these secular women and if you're a secular man disagreeing with this like okay dude, yeah, you're but, a godly yeah i don't want to i need to be a Christian man. Okay. Uh, yeah. Give, give your life to you. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> but go ahead and leave it down in the comments, guys. Just remember, right. the Shades Podcast, we have rhino skin. We are tailor-made for this stuff. We are tailor-made to be bold, based Christians and telling the truth. Right. So follow, like, subscribe, comment, share Shades Creators on all platforms. God bless you.